coconut oil soap. And of course we all know that coconut oil can be a bit drying on its own if you don't super fat it, meaning that you add a bit more fat than the lye can actually uh, saponify. So it leaves behind a bit of coconut oil for moisturizing our skin and not leaving it dry. And yet it gives you a fantastic cleansing bar. Now, if I were making a laundry detergent, which is actually what I started to do and then changed my mind, uh, we wouldn't super fat it at all. And I would add some additional ingredients like borax, you know. But this is just a coconut milk and coconut oil soap. So what you see here is 100% coconut milk and lye, of course. And there is something about keeping it simple like this that makes me smile. <laughs> now, if you look over on the far left, you'll see a small bowl. That is some green tea that my friend Renee had sent me a while back. And I thought I would use that to color just a portion of this, just to add a little bit of something extra, because this is going to be a fairly simple soap and so I just wanted to add a little something to it and what's better than green tea right we love green tea and it is a fantastic additive to soap notice I'm wearing my soaping sleeves again yes <laughs> why not protect our arms right and it's been cooler actually over the last few days but I think it's going to get hotter soon so back to short sleeves but anyway this is not a complicated soap it is a very simple one but I wanted to share it with you anyway and this is being scented with only lemongrass essential oil I wanted to again keeping it simple and it smells fantastic <laughs> I love the smell of lemongrass and it just so happens I've noticed a lot of people over the last week or so making lemongrass soaps. So I guess we're all in the mood for lemongrass right now. I wanted to say a big thank you to those of you that placed orders on Friday. That was really kind of you. And yeah, there was a sale, but you certainly were not obligated to do it but it means a lot to me that you did and uh, it will help tremendously and if nothing else for me to buy more supplies to make more soap <laughs> and that is what I love to do so it allows me to continue doing more of what I love to do and uh, I just want to say thank you uh, it's really fantastic and uh, really what I did here is I took that, uh, some of the soap separated it, put the tea in it, and then I'm just doing some, uh, my, some uh, in the pot, not swirls, but just pours. And I'm just pouring a few stripes just so I can get a little bit of that color blended throughout the soap. So it's really not about much more than that. And sorry, there's my old fuzzy head in the way. But uh, I can tell you that I am so happy that I've met you folks. You have been just a tremendous addition to my life. And I don't say that lightly, but I really do appreciate it. I was so depressed. And, well, I'm still not... 100% <laughs> but I'm getting there uh, I think once I get a job I'll be fine it's just uh, I've not been unemployed since I was 13 years old and it's very difficult and uh, I can't talk about this too much but anyway I just wanted to say thank you all so much and I won't bring this up in another video until I've either got a job or I have something else going on, but I will f keep you filled in, but there's so much more to talk about. Um, 
I did have a request to do something else with my Manuka honey. And so I'm going to do that. And probably tomorrow I'll have another wonderful recipe for you all. Because there's been a great success with the Manuka salve, the lip food. Uh, I've got a lot of positive feedback from the soap that I did. So why not something else, right? It's hot right now, so I don't mind. Now, I will tell you, this got so hot, and I'm not sure why, but it cracked the top on both these loaves. It got that hot, and I actually took the temperature of this, and this was 18 hours later, and when I was taking it out of the mold, I mean, it was like really hot, and I took the temperature, and it was about 125 degrees, so... This was, the, it's been a long time since I've made a 100% coconut oil soap, but I guess using all that coconut milk, it just, the sugar in it just really heated it up. And it changed the color a little bit. Instead of this being a pure white soap, it's more of a vanilla color, but I actually kind of like it. <laughs> I do. And it goes really well with the lemongrass, the smell, the texture of this. See there, it's still 116 degrees and it's out out of the mold in the room. I just wanted to show that to you. It really did get hot and uh, no idea why other than the fact there was so much sugar in, well, you know, the c coconut milk is high in sugar. So, yeah. But thanks everyone. You are just tremendous. I'm so glad that you're a part of the channel. And for those newer folks here, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here. It means a lot. And one other topic I want to touch on, and this is probably only important now because of what's going on with the job thing, but if you can, watch the commercials. If you don't want to, I understand. Skip through them. But if you can watch them, it adds a few more pennies for me so that I can keep doing this stuff. That's all. But Thank you all so very much. Have a fantastic day, everyone. And I look forward to seeing you back tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye.